Gary and welcome to Taming the Toll. And today we'll be discussing what to do when you suffer a tyre blowout. Yes, yeah, Lisa, when you get tyre blowouts, basically the car's going to start veering towards the direction the tyre's blown, so left for left and right for right. If it's a front tyre, the steering's going to get pretty heavy and it's going to start dragging in the direction that it blew. If it's a rear tyre, the back of the car is going to start weaving around on you a little bit. This has happened to me three times in my life, so I'm going to listen very, very closely. Mm. What happens when you're braking? Okay, we'll leave the brakes alone, basically. Um, what you should really be trying to achieve is to keep the steering pointing the car down the road as best you can to mm -hmm. keep it nice and straight and that will maintain some good stability in the car. Get your accelerator nice and steady and then just slowly take it off, don't just dump it off. Maintain some steering control. Generally the car is going to go left or right depending on which side of the car is actually blowing the tyre. Okay Gary, but how do we minimise tyre blowouts? Well there's a couple of things we need to keep a check on our tyres all the time. The pressure and the condition of the tyres is paramount to making sure that your tyre stays in good condition. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, we've got two tyres. These tyres are actually exactly the same. Yeah. This one's looking very worse for wear, as you can see. Um, on all tyres, and generally about three or more locations, you're going to have this little wear bar indicator. If you come across to this tyre here, this is a brand new one. There's the wear bar indicator there and you've got a huge amount of tread before you actually get to that. So this one here on the road is going to act very well to actually grab the water, dispel it away from the tyre and oh. keep you in contact with the ground. How do we check the pressure of the tyres? Well basically you can either go to a service station, they've got gauges there, or you can just buy your own. Push it on nice and firm and that should give you a tyre pressure. So you just read the gauge and say, okay, that's 38 pound. Just like that? Yep. Thanks Gary, that was some great tips and thanks for joining us. Thanks Lisa and we'll see you next time on Taming the Toll.